Hi everyone. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4, 4 minute videos. Today we are going to learn about Salesforce insert operation in Mule 4. Let us jump into the application development. Open any point studio and go to file and click on new Mule project. By default Mule 4 doesn't have Salesforce and file modules. So click on add module at the bottom of mule palette and click on add extension to add the salesforce and file connectors. And then click on OK. Then drag and drop the HTTP listener connector from the mule palette, to the design canvas to get the requests for your service. Click on new connector configuration, in basic settings to provide the host and port, and click on test connection. If the port is not in use then you can see the test connection successful message and click on OK. Provide the URL path for your Salesforce service. Here in this video the Salesforce account details are read from a file location. So drag and drop the file read connector from the mule palette onto the design canvas to read the account data. Click on new connector configuration and basic settings to provide the working directory and make sure file exists in that location. Click on Test Connection, if the provided directory is true then you can see the Test Connection successful message and click on OK. Now drag and drop the Salesforce Create Connector from the Mule Palette onto the Design Canvas to insert the Salesforce account details. Earlier Mule versions have only one Salesforce connector which can be used for both inbound and outbound properties based on its position. But in Mule 4 version Salesforce module has different connectors based on its operations like create, create job, delete, update, upsert, query, query all, retrieve, search and so on. Click on new connector configuration and basic settings to provide the username, password and security token and click on test connection. If the user credentials are true then you can see the test connection successful message and click on OK. Select type to be account in the general tab. Drag and drop the transform message from the mule palette to in front of the Salesforce to give the input for the Salesforce insert operation. Set the input metadata by selecting the example file by which transform message creates the schema for you. By default transform message gets the output metadata from the Salesforce insert connector. Now map the input fields to the appropriate output fields. To check whether the account details got inserted into Salesforce account, in this video I have set the account ID as a response along with the message. So drag and drop the transform message connector from the mule palette onto the design canvas to set the account ID and message as response. Data Wave have a beauty to create a schema based on the given example data. Now map input with output and set a success message. Right click on Design Canvas and click on Run as Mule Application. By default Mule 4 downloads the required artifacts from Maven repository. If your application is free from errors then you can see the application gets deployed message in the console. To send a request to your Salesforce service go to Postman and give the service URL and click on Send. Now check SFID and message as response. Now open your Salesforce account and refresh it. You can see that the account details are successfully inserted into the Salesforce account table. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at meal4beta at eiesb.com.